thanks to the people who are to continue to invite me for this interesting talk about the digital transformation which is happening in India and how the 5G is going to play an important role in this digital transformation is my talk today. Basically, I segmented this particular talk with the uh, three kinds of things. What has been 5G rollout happened in the world so far? And what kind of evolution 5G is going to make it in the world in the uh, next two to three years? And uh, what is the digital transformation happening in India from the data perspective? Especially in the wireless data, mobile internet data perspective. And what kind of opportunities that 5G is going to provide to the various industries as well as to the, the people in India. <coughs> Happy to take the questions before the end and uh, uh, let's move on. If you look at the, I mean, any communication engineer, if they see here this particular slide, it summarizes that. What is that is going to offer for them and to the communication ecosystems, wireless communication ecosystems for every 10 years. Every 10 years there is a new G is going to happen from starting from 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G. Now we are talking about the 6G also uh, at the moment. But 3GPP which is the standardization body which is to nicely blend the technology as well as the what kind of use cases that the consumer is going to enjoy. In the second generation, for example, it is uh, changed uh, change the world in a way that the fixed telephony to the mobile telephony and providing the text messaging services as the to communicate to people, between the people. Still, we do those SMS. I think the previous speaker is talking about SMS still. Third generation is talking about the mobile internet. Uh, the the introduce the internet into the hands of the people, and they are able to browse the very important uh, knowledge sites and then get that expertise or the skills required to know about what is going on in the world, and got that uh, mobile internet space. A lot of video and entertainment space also is started evolved but uh, not that much has been leveraged in the third generation. When it comes to the fourth generation, that's where this mobile broadband has been started. A lot of content has been getting streamed. Social networking sites has been involved. Mobile app, mobile internet has taken into the much leaps and bounds. Entertainment industry went into the streamings. We can see the Netflixes and, uh, and uh, Hotstars and Disney's and many, many folks came up and then provided the space, utilize this particular pipes that 4G is off. What happens to the 5G? So when 5G about uh, a decade back was talk about that, there are three major pillars that 5G has been laid out. One is enhancing the existing mobile broadband at that point of time to greater heights. Lot of data requirements came out, megabits per second to the gigabits per second and uh, things like that. And lot of data started traveling through the pipes and then getting exchanged between the various cloud uh, infrastructures as well as the devices. And second is ultra reliability and low latencies. Lot of use cases and uh, uh, getting enabled during that time to have that real-time communications and uh, uh, very low latency related digital uh, thing. Uh, we used to talk about the holographic communications during those particular days uh, to have that video conferences to happen with the real-life holographic communication, which is little more challenging even with the current 5G at the moment. But that's the requirement that has been set up. Third one is uh, 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 massive machine type communications. So I would say that a uh, lot of internet of things, a uh, lot of uh, vertical industries started automating their operations so that lot more devices is going to be connected in the world. It is expected.
expect them that by 2030, almost 500 billion devices will be connected to the internet. On an average, each guy will be having about four to five devices uh, talking to each other, for increasing the productivity and bringing the automations and giving the services to the people. So these are the three major uh, fundamentals with which the 5G has been uh, uh, envisaged and visioned and uh, requirement has been seen and what is going to happen in 6G, a lot of research is going on and we will see what is that uh, 6G is going to do. Yeah, 5G is real and it is global. Almost 239 operators uh, started their 5G services across the world. As we speak, uh, close to 2 billion uh, subscriptions are available for the 5G. That means 2 billion subscribers are enjoying the 5G services. There are almost uh, 800 million devices are available for the uh, devices in the smartphones. I think that question which uh, previously crossed about it, whether uh, do you have a smartphone or not, I think that question will be relevant for the next 2-3 to three years. Everybody will be having a smartphone. And we have to ask maybe 5G smartphone. Anyway, so 800 million uh, smartphones are there and various kinds of uh, getting into the market, go to market, GTM strategies laid out by the operators. Some went with the non-standalone approaches and standalone approaches. Uh, I don't want to talk about the what is this deployment, set one is this, is this set one is about the SA and NSA. Uh, but the carriers has taken uh, GTM strategy to go into the SA and NSA kind of deployments. But having said, having this particular 5G real and it is globally available, in my view, what it has been visioned for the 5G, only 40% of the 5G has been laid out, deployed. It is only the consumers are experiencing the uh, enhanced mobile products. It is pretty sure that the uh, internet traffic, internet speeds are, have been uh, went ahead like anything in, across the world, whether what kind of, what are the kind of deployments that they have seen it. But there are much more 5G is going to offer that has to be, had to be re realized in the next two to three years. So that's where the uh, 5G in India Last October, uh, uh, Prime Minister Modi has announced the 5G launch in India and uh, since then, the 5G has been rolled out across various uh, cities and towns, almost 100 plus towns are having the 5G services these days. And almost more than uh, 30 million 5G devices in India has been uh, enhanced with the 5G technologies. Based on the early reports, uh, early by the open signal, uh, consumers are experiencing 16.5x download throughputs are increased. That means the people are seeing on an average about 300 to 400 Mbps uh, per, per device throughput that the people are seeing it. The Netflix downloads or Prime downloads have been substantially reduced from 10 minutes to say one minute, less than a minute. Similarly, the uplink speeds also has been increased in India. This is a very early report, but we have to see in the next few years, a few months, how the 5G is, when it is expanded across the country, how the people will use this 5G. So in Samsung, uh, we have enabled all our 5G devices to have that 5G ready uh, situation with 5G enabled devices. We are fully uh, committed to the democratizing across the chipsets as well as the mid-tier devices. Uh, flagship and mid-tier smartphones are having by default 5G. Yeah. And we are also collaborating with the uh, carriers and telco operators to give that very meaningful 5G experience to the consumers at the B2C 
and we are also supporting lot of Indian academia because they have the lot of IG test bed funds as available to be them, and uh, we are supporting these uh, uh, IITs and lot of academia to realize these test beds and then make sure that they come up with the certain use cases and offer to the uh, various industries. So before getting into the how the digital transformation is happening in India, just looking at this particular data and with a little bit of common sense that uh, we are we are also experiencing across the across the world, you can see that how the 5, 4G itself is transformed in India. With this, uh, India data usage was the, among the highest in the world. And India has taken the leaps and bounds to access the internet through the mobile phones. Almost all the smartphones are accessing, uh, uh, people are accessing the internet through those smartphones rather than the laptops or the, any other devices. And uh, internet economy is contributing to the India's GDP. Almost uh, 6% of the internet uh, GDP, 5.6% of the India's GDP is, is getting contributed from the internet economy itself. And this is substantially will really increase. This means that the lot of data and lot of democratization of the internet data has been started thanks to the various carrier uh, uh, operators who transformed this and then made this possible for the Indian consumers. And India is forecasting the uh, mobile broadband penetration almost 80% with uh, average usage of 40 GB by 2026. And this particular uh, 40 GB means that average data consumed by the each one user per month. And this will increase further to the 55 GB by 2028. So what they are using this much data per month, a lot of uh, uh, gaming uh, industry, games are started and then the entertainment segments are being started. A lot of OTT has been uh, laid out, very interesting uh, series, etc, etc. If you see that total data traffic growth happened, in 20, uh, from year 20, 2017, there is almost 31% year on year growth. 12,640 petabytes has been exchanged in year 2021 alone by the Indian consumers. I think it is almost uh, two to three times more than entire China is consumed this particular data and devices like I mentioned the 40 GB to the 55 GB the people are is consuming it smartphone usage among the millennials and Gen Z it is substantially increased and that as we speak today on an average in a day eight hours has been spent on the smartphone This is very very important and very very growth that we have seen in India actually. So this is, gives the lot more hungry to access the data and lot more hungry to use the digital, uh, digital things. So how do we, how do we help the 5G into, the, into this, uh, this kind of economy, this kind of market? While we are talking about the, the overall data, how it is being uh, getting utilized by the Indian people. But in 4G, the, our average data rate is coming around 18 Mbps, which is very, very low. So that's where 5G will play a very, very important role to increase this 18 Mbps to, sub, uh, to, in, to a few hundreds of Mbps. Maybe if they use the high bands or the millimeter wave bands, it can go to GPS as well. 
like i mentioned the mobile internet is the very uh, mobile broadband is the major use case to access the internet by the people uh, fixed broadband which is through the wifi routers or the through adsls or the cables or fiber optics that penetration is only 3% and there are very challenging situations to lay out the fiber optic cables as well as the cabling to get into the this fixed mobile uh, fixed broadband related things in the remote especially in the remote areas that's where the internet smartphone is playing very very important role so these are the major opportunities which is available for the 5g to utilize and uh, transform the people's life in india if you look at the 5g in my left hand side there are globally deployed use cases like uh, fixed wireless access like i mentioned even in the uh, world countries like usa and uh, other uh, other countries usa is a big nation to cover the, to make the fiber optic cable also is very very difficult so that's where the fiber, fixed uh, fixed wireless access has been a important use case and that, that has been deployed in fact how it works is that is not having the uh, uh, fiber optic backhaul or the adsl backhaul the 5g will act as a backhaul and the wifi or the, uh, short range communications will make the people to access the internet where this 5g backhaul will end is wherever the fiber optic is getting ended in the cellular networks so that way the fwa has been rolled out in 5g the private 5g networks has been also evolved in various countries especially in china where the p2p is completely changed to the private 5g where the all the enterprises lease lines is replaced with the 5g backhauls and various other vertical industries like smart factory enterprise enterprises and media analytics ar ya several vertical industries started deployment in the in the, in the in the world that's where i would say that in india these are the opportunities if you want to do the factory to the complete automations you can do with the 5g you don't need to do, just for the wifi and the, the fixed lines you can make uh, all your uh, product production line which is going on and to detect whether the product is very quality product or the do the uh, fault tolerance etc you can do the check quality checks by remotely at the other other locations where the real time high um, uh, high visibility or high vision related images has been gone to server server will do the image processing algorithms and then provide the result back in the real time and smart classes education segment if the teacher is somewhere else and then the students are somewhere else and they can virtually connect it and then make that immersive experience to have that uh, uh, remote classes remote surgeries i mean to, uh, today most of the modern hospitals are incorporated with the robotic arms if you can do precision uh, robotic arms by having the doctor or the ex expert doctor somewhere sitting in other corner of the country and then having connected through the 5g and with the low latency space they can do the remote surgeries at least to start with uh, remote uh, what to say cardio radiology related solutions so like that if you can come up with any kind of vertical industries if you just apply what 5g is going to offer and if you see what backfalls has been has been made we can see that entire digitization and automations can happen through the 5g and much more better use cases better productivity can be achieved so india's five mobile 5g services is expected to grow about 
164 cost centering by 2026. So this case requires more devices. It's not just the smartphones. Our laptops will be embedded with the 5G, like just like I, like, like the Wi-Fi is, is by default available in the laptops. And dongles <coughs> and many, many, many uh, small devices with the 5G massive machine type kind of communication variant modems will be available in this in these devices. And then with that devices we, we are able to connect to the uh, internet and then realize the use cases. And more businesses so far till 4G at least, which is a little bit of started with the B2B related things. But 5G is uh, one third of the 5G may be utilized for the consumer focus, but the major part of that will focus on the B2B businesses. That's where this vertical industries and all the industries, uh, industry 4.0 uh, related uh, resumes will happen through the B2B and more use cases. In my opinion, the 5G is going to be the last generation probably for the people to have the requirements. And it is the first generation to start interacting between the machines. 6G will focus more on the machines and the, how the machines will communicate with each other. When it comes to the humans, probably the upper, uh, we have our own limitations, our freedom is limited. With the 6 dot camera related machines, it can have a 360 degrees experiences, virtually no limits, right? So it will require some more challenges to the 6G, we will talk about 6G later. And more users and more use cases will evolve in 5G. So with this, I would say that the next two to three years, very challenging, very, very productive and very, very uh, uh, game-changing uh, technologies is going to be developed and then realized in Indian market with 5G. And the next 10 years is going to be very interesting times to change the entire communication technologies. With that, ladies and gentlemen, let's build a hyper-connected world for tomorrow.